वन रॉक इज नोन एज इग्नियस रॉक इग्नियस रॉक्स आर दे जनरली फॉर्म बिकॉज ऑफ वोल्कैनिक इरप्शन एंड मैग्मेटिक इंट्रूजन इग्नियस रॉक्स आर फॉर्म ड्यू टू वोल्कैनिक इरप्शन डिराइव फ्रॉम मैग्मेटिक डिपोजिट्स and its cooling leads to the development of igneous rock it is known as a primary rock primary rock because of what it is known as primary rock because almost all other rocks are derived from this rock igneous rock is primary rock because it is almost all other rocks are derived from this rock only that's what is called as igneous rock is primary rock igneous rock is very hard rigid mostly impermeable mostly in be mostly i have written so less affected by less affected by chemical weathering chemical weathering it is less affected by chemical weathering because for chemical weathering we need medium the material the uh, mineral the uh, liquid or the water should percolates inside a chemical should goes inside uh, most like uh, most of the cases water pani agar nahi jayega rock strata ke andar to kaise reaction hoga chemical reaction water should percolates inside then only it is possible so porosity and permeability plays a very important role here porous and permeable rock only can do this okay so these are primary rock rest all other rocks are derived from this so it is least affected by less affected by less affected by kya lukha mein less affected by chemical weathering you know what is weathering aapko weathering kya hai pata hai wo chemical weathering or do you need any explanation on this yes do you know what is weathering do you need any explanation on this please be quick weathering kya hai pata hai ki nahi hai ek box ke andar likho nahi to disintegration and decomposition of the rocks in c2 in c2 in c2 mean in a fixed place in a fixed place disintegration and decomposition rocks in a fixed place is known as weathering disintegration and decomposition rocks your friend is asking sir does air sway passes through gas medium no in situ mean in a fixed place in a fixed place disintegration and decomposition of the rocks in situ in a fixed place is called as weathering acha okay okay theek hai weathering ka so weathering jo hota hai na koi bhi ek, you can keep a particular uh, material in a particular region you keep aapka jo chair or table hai na you keep it in your rooftop for 5 6 years after this you go and just give your give pressure like this it will collapse because the bonding of the particles between them gradually decreases it became weak disintegration it will start and decomposition of the rocks in a fixed place is called as weathering weathering are of two major types one is physical weathering physical weathering सेकेंड वन इज केमिकल वेदरिंग थर्ड वन इज बायोलॉजिकल वेदरिंग बायोलॉजिकल वेदरिंग केमिकल फिजिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ वेदरिंग केमिकल फिजिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ वेदरिंग फिजिकल वेदरिंग आर ड्यू टू टेम्परेचर एंड ड्यू टू फिजिकल वेदरिंग 
it is due to physical factors like temperature pressure humidity etc chemical weathering is due to chemical action example carbonation oxidation oxidation you know that rusting of iron example hai you can see like rusting of iron iron rusting hota hai na rusting of iron is a very good example rusting of iron is the best example chemical action carbonation oxidation biological weathering by plant and animal disintegration by plant and animal if it is there it is biological weathering physical factors se jo bhi hoga physical weathering hai temperature pressure se example i'll give you the best example in the desert area what happened during the day time temperature is very high in the right time temperature is very less so because in the day time temperature is very high the rock strata expand during the night time temperature is less so it is contract contraction expansion contraction if this will get repeatedly then there will be development of cracks in this rock strata the development of cracks you will find out this development of cracks in the rocks this leads this is called this physical weathering small small chote chote particles ho jayenge and this leads to you know mostly sandy terrain in the desert desert mein sand aata hai isli in the desert region you have sand mostly find out because of what due to the action of physical weathering you got it now so example of physical weathering i'll give you physical weathering ki example physical weathering example is the sandy profile development over the arid and desert climatic region climatic regions arid and desert climatic region has this physical weathering arid arid and desert climatic regions okay sandy profile because of expansion and contraction of as i said the rock strata due to high temperature during the day time and you have low temperature during the night in the day time it expand in night it contrast contraction and expansion this continue and this leads to the development of sandy profile sandy profile development over the arid and desert climatic region best example ye hai so this is can be another one you know exfoliation e x f o l i a t i o n exfoliation mean onion peeling weathering weathering in this case what happen like onion you peel up the onion layer by layer layer by layer there will be weathering weathering will take place in layer by layer manner the best example if there is load you know the a particular region has more rock strata with more weight load jada hai when the rock strata got removed from that region the load became reduced what will happen wo kya hoga swelling ho jayega upar surface man layer by layer layer by layer it will be weathering this is called as exfoliation or onion peeling weathering i hope you got it onion peeling weathering hmm onion peeling weathering best example kishan ki laddu there is a such type of rock you will find in uh, karnataka okay near mandya mysore mandya 
اس پہ ایک ایک راک ہے اسے پورا راؤنڈ ہے دس از لائک ایکسپولین کے بجائے ایکسپولیشن ایکسپولیشن لیڈس ٹو آل دیز ایکسپولیشن بیکاز آف ریلیز آف دا پریشر بیکاز یہ بڑا ہیٹنگ اینڈ تھائنگ وجہ سے کیا ہو گیا فزیکل ودرنگ از ڈیو ٹو آلٹرنیٹ ہیٹنگ اینڈ تھائنگ ایکسپولیشن از ڈیو ٹو چینج ان دا پریشر کنڈیشن آف اے ریجنس لائٹ ویٹ ہو گیا تو اسے ایکسپولیشن ہوگا وہاں پہ اونین پیلنگ ویدرنگ فزیکل ویدرنگ آر لائک دس ناؤ فزیکل آلویز یو ریمبر ویدرنگ لیڈس ٹو ہیلپس ان ایروجن آلسو ناؤ تھرڈ ٹائپ آف ویدرنگ اور سیکنڈ ٹائپ آف ویدرنگ از کیمیکل ویدرنگ کیمیکل ویدرنگ مائی فرینڈس کیمیکل ویدرنگ ایز یو نو کیمیکل ویدرنگ بیسٹ ایگزامپل آف کیمیکل ویدرنگ یو ول فائنڈ آؤٹ از دا روسٹنگ آف آئرن Rusting of iron. Rusting of iron. You have KVT formation in limestone rich regions. KVT formation in limestone rich regions. You have KVT in the limestone rich region. This is also a very important factor. کیویٹی فارمیشن آپ نا دانت میں جو کیویٹی ہے وہ بھی ہے ویدرنگ ہے اینڈ ویدرنگ لیسٹ ویروجن کبھی یہ باہر آ جائے گا دیکھو لائم سٹون ریچ ریجنس ای سیٹ کیویٹی فارمیشن دیج آر کیمیکل ویدرنگ دین یو ہیو بائیولوجیکل ویدرنگ تھرڈ ٹائپ ای سیٹ بائیولوجیکل ویدرنگ بائیولوجیکل بائیولوجیکل ویدرنگ وے پرٹیکولر ریجنس ویتھ مور اینڈ مور As you know, more and more plant and animal action. So, you must have seen if anywhere earthworms are more. Earthworm, earthworm can change the pH value of the soil. Earthworm and region can change, weaken the soil. It can change the pH value of the soil. A very important example is earthworm. The best example is earthworm. Earthworm, earthworm can change the pH value of the soil. And this is the best example here, Arthwam ki, wherever it is there. Now we have tree, which tree? People tree. People tree or banyan tree. In a region you have banyan tree or people tree. So the regions of this region, you know, leaves. They will change the pH value. pH value ka change kar dete hai. They will change the pH value. and they will have a different type of app. Rodents in somewhere there. Rodents. Rodents. Rodents hai. Toh bhi ho change kar dete ek jaya api soil profile ko. And you must have seen in the old temple, old, you know, if somewhere you have old temple is there, old building, fort structure is there. Like, you know, when the tree roots goes inside, it will weaken the entire wall and it collapse. Best example. So, weathering is like this. So weathering helps in weathering helps in quick erosion. Erosion mein ye finally kaam mein aayenge. Weathering leads to erosion. Weathering leads to erosion. Please remember this. Hmm? You got it what I am saying? Weathering and erosion are very important and this is like here. So, راک فارمیشن میں ان دا راک فارمیشن ویدرنگ پلیج اے ویری امپورٹنٹ رول آلسو اینڈ اگنیس راکس آر ریجسٹنٹ ٹو کیمیکل ویدرنگ وائی دے آر ریجسٹنٹ دس از آل اباؤٹ ویدرنگ آئی ہوپ یو گاٹ اٹ ویدرنگ میں سمجھتے تو آیا یو گاٹ اٹ مائی فرینڈ ہو آج آسکنگ فار دس ویدرنگ پارٹ نہیں سمجھ میں آیا کیا یو گاٹ اٹ دیکھو ڈینڈروف ان یور ہیئر از بیسٹ ایگزامپل آف ویدرنگ مائی ڈیئر And weathering leads to erosion, remember. Now I hope you got it. Fine, very good. So look at here, igneous rock, very hard, rigid, mostly impermeable rock. Igneous rock, very hard, rigid, mostly impermeable rock. So less affected by chemical weathering. Igneous rock is less affected by chemical weathering because porous is less. Less porous. Okay. So as I have just mentioned about this, this is very, very important to know. That igneous rock are less eros erosion wise effect if you look at it is less. 
रेजिस्टेंट होगा वेदरिंग से फिजिकल वेदरिंग विल बी मोर केमिकल वेदरिंग इज लेस इग्नियस रॉक में 